Thank you very much. <coughs> Hello, uh, good morning or good, good afternoon for you. Um, sorry for the delay. Uh, it has been an, a, a terrible journey for me. I departed this, uh, this morning at 4 a.m. In, in Madrid, and after two flights, uh, stopping Paris, uh, um, the, the, my flight was delayed because of a storm. <laughs> so you can imagine a lot of um, traffic jams on the road. <laughs> Well, I have to, to, to drive on the, on the wrong side of the, of the, <laughs> <laughs> of the road. <laughs> I'm not used to it, but anyway, uh, I have reached uh, the, um, the, the IWM event. Uh, well, I'm going to make you a demonstration. Um, uh, this, uh, this is uh, one of the most uh, beautiful bridges in, in Madrid, in, in my city. Um, this bridge is called it, uh, the Toledo Bridge. Is very ancient. is uh, is from the um, 18th century, and uh, the river uh, under the bridge is the Manzanares River. It's a very small river, but it's the only one uh, we have here in in Madrid. Well, uh, I'm going to start with the drawing uh, very very fast. Uh, I, I I used to draw very fast. This is a metallic rule. I use it uh, a lot when when drawing. Uh, urban escapes when for for making um, straight lines. Well, in this uh, picture, uh, we have uh, two vanishing points. We have uh, one vanishing point going to the right side. Uh, we can see this vanishing point, and uh, also we have another vanishing point going to the left uh, inside the bridge. So uh, I'm very used to, to draw very fast because uh, I'm joining Spain in many plein air competitions every weekend. <laughs> and uh, I used to work in larger uh, formats, uh, about one meter by one meter. And I, I complete this kind of, of work in four hours, more or less. So I, I use it to, to work fast and with a lot of pressure. <laughs> Um, well, I'm drawing the, the, the arches, uh, the main part of the, of the bridge. Here we have the, the second part. I'm going to place the, um, the second vanishing point here to establish uh, some lines uh, inside the arches of the, of the bridge. And also, this vanishing point is important to to get the um, uh, the, the shore of the of the river. Uh, I I draw with a mechanical pencil with a 2B leaf. It's very soft. Uh, I prefer to to draw very fast and um, 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 and very loose. I don't mind if sometimes um, the, the soft leaf of the mechanical pencil um, makes some stains on the paper. Anyway, uh, after uh, everything will be covered with, um, with color, with watercolor. Well, uh, I'm going to establish the lower part of the bridge. Here, same vanishing point is useful for this kind of, 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 of ground we have in the middle of the, um, of the river. Well, far away we have uh, some background, some buildings, some trees. Uh, they are not important because the focal point is going to be uh, on, the, um, on the bridge. And uh, of course, on the on the on the river, on the older reflections. Well, I'm making the the reflection of the arch, more or less, because the water is uh, moving. I don't need to to draw an exact uh, reflection. It's not a, um, a, a calm uh, water. Well, and here in the middle of the arch. We have a, a statue. Uh, this statue is uh, the um, uh, the the holy um, the holy Mary. 
the, the name in Spanish is uh, Santa Maria de la Cabeza. It's the, the most important um, virgin of, of Madrid. For me, it's uh, essential to, to have straight lines, to have everything uh, well placed and uh, straight, completely straight. Well, that's enough. This is all the, all the drawing, all the things I need. It's uh, five minutes, it's fast. <laughs> Well, um, now time to, to apply the, the color. Uh, all my brushes are made from, uh, from Skoda brand. It's a Spanish brand. Uh, they made the, all the brushes uh, handmade, one by one. I have been in the factory, and it's incredible to see how uh, even the, the number zero brass, they put uh, all, the br all the bristles one by one in the... Um, in the, I don't know, in the metallic part of the of the brass, and they then put uh, together with the handle. So uh, this, they are handmade and with a very high, quite quality. Well, first thing I'm going to do is to make um, a big wash. Yes. You can say my palette is dirty. Um, I don't used to clean my palette. Uh, I used to to work with my with my palette dirty, because uh, I take advantage of the um, of the leftover of the palette. Well, I'm going to wet with uh, some kind of gray made with this uh, leftover because it, it's um, a cloudy day. Uh, I don't need uh, bright colors. I don't need um, clean blues, for example. I'm going to use all the colors um, broken. I start always with with the with the top of the paper with the sky. Uh, the sky is is not important in this work. This is a, a bigger flat brass. It's a synthetic hair imitation um, petit gris. Well, I'm going to cover everything. I'm going to to have a mother color to unify. Uh, all the um, all the elements of the work, so these colors are going to be everywhere, and everything is going to be connected. Well, uh, here um, in the into the river, I'm going to make a degradate. So the um, foreground is going to be darker than the background. Uh, um, making this, uh, we will have um, more more feeling of depth. All the things that we have closer uh, used to be darker, and uh, as soon they, they, are, they are going to the background, they are paler, they are lighter. So I'm going to increase the, um, the, the pigment. I'm making a, a kind of blue-gray. I'm using cerulean blue, uh, leftover of the palette, um, some sepia to make the, the, blue, the blue more gray. I'm going to add also some uh, yellow ochre. Uh, this river is not um, uh, a pretty river. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, this, uh, the, the river uh, has no too much uh, stream, um, and uh, it's, it's not a clean river. It used to be very dirty. Uh, I think Madrid is, is not like London, like uh, Paris, like Rome, that they have a, a very big river. We have this small river and, and most of the time is, is polluted. Well, uh, darker at the, for, at the, back, at the foreground uh, with uh, some um, warm colors. Here uh, the colors are... Um, uh, cooler and here are uh, warmer. That's the reason I am uh, using now some yellow ochre and more um, more sepia. 
Well, uh, I'm going to work now while the paper is still wet. Uh, is it still wet because I can see the sign uh, on the surface of the paper. So I'm going to uh, paint now uh, the reflection of, of the distant uh, trees with a thicker mix. Now I'm going to use some kind of, uh, again, some sepia, uh, a little bit of uh, barn sienna, and uh, I use this kind of colors. In my palette, you can see there are some um, pastel colors. Uh, these colors are not, are not uh, very usual in, in, in any palette. Um, of course, these colors are not uh, from a purist artist. I'm not a purist watercolorist. I'm sorry. <laughs> because all, the, all these colors um, have uh, titanium white in uh, their composition. Uh, all these six colors uh, are, this is a yellow with white, a orange with white, um, a magenta with white, a, a purple with white, a blue, and this is a, a buff titanium also is like a gray, uh, white. So for me, also, these colors are very useful because I can paint with uh, thick pigment, with uh, a lot of pigment, on wet paper, on moist paper, and uh, with a light color. That's the, the one of the, of the main reasons uh, I use these, uh, these colors. Well, this is a reflection as soft uh, of the um, of the trees that we have uh, at the background. I'm going to move this reflection to create uh, the feeling of movement into the water. With I just I only uh, moving the pigment. I'm not painting. That's the reason I uh, squeeze the the brush and I clean it just to, to have soft edges and to, um, to blend everything uh, on, the, on the paper. Well, uh, at the same time, uh, the paper is still wet. I'm going to put some uh, sunken rocks, sunken stones under the water. Then I will uh, apply um, uh, a big wash for, for painting the reflection of, of the bridge. But uh, you can, we can see here some, uh, some kind of, uh, of things that are uh, sunken. So I'm going to use now a darker color, ultramarine blue with sepia, on uh, wet paper. The paper now is between wet and moist. Here, uh, yesterday I, I, I was uh, making a... Um, uh, online demo for my student in Spain, and the temperature uh, outside was about 30 degrees. <laughs> so so uh, here is complete difference. Uh, I, I can paint more relaxed. <laughs> I don't I don't have to hurry up with um, with the time. It's very important to know um, what's the humidity uh, and what is the um, what's the time what, what's the drying time of, of the paper. So uh, here, uh, because uh, uh, everywhere um, outside is green, uh, you have here a lot of humidity, um, we can work more, uh, more slow and, and we can use um, more, uh, uh, more moments of the paper. I'm just uh, painting some kind of uh, stone, some stains sunken. Then this, uh, this uh, brass strokes will be very soft and will uh, appear um, under the water. At the same time I am painting uh, this, uh, these marks, uh, I'm making a kind of, of, of perspective. Uh, everything is not flat, it's, it has a, a little bit of of vanishing. Well, here I can feel that the paper is not uh, is now um, dry, so it means that the everything uh, uh, on the on the top 
is completely dry, so I can start painting the, the rest of the, of the work. I'm going to start with the background. The background, uh, we have um, some, uh, some buildings, some houses. Not, uh, they are not important. I'm going to paint uh, some roofs here. I'm going to use also very gray, very gray colors and very, um, very light to create the, the feeling of, of depth. Some windows. We have uh, here uh, some vegetation also. Uh, all the time I'm using <coughs> um, all my leftovers of the palette uh, because uh, in, this, in this case I am working in a, um, in a cloudy mood, in a, <coughs> in a gray scale. I need something. This is a um, an hotel card. <laughs> uh, to scratching, uh, to have more texture, to have more um, details, and to have another kind of of, of brass strokes. It's not a brass stroke, but uh, I can have some highlights using this uh, this card. Any hotel card is is perfect to to do that. Well, this is the the background. Well, uh, <coughs> time to paint the um, uh, the bridge. I'm going to use this flat brass. Uh, the, the breeze is, is, is uh, also um, uh, like a, between a, gray, a warm gray, between gray, between uh, brown. So I'm going to use yellow ochre, uh, transparent red oxide, it's like a barn sienna. And again, some leftover. But this time, very, um, very transparent, very weak. because it's, it's not a, a dark um, bridge. I changed the color. Uh, not uh, all, the, all the bridge is exactly uh, with the same kind of colors. So I am changing the color. Here I have added uh, some kind of pink. The, the bridge has um, two, two parts. Uh, the inside part of the arch is darker, and the outside is lighter because um, the, the, the light is, is in front of, of it. Well, with the same color, I'm going to paint the, the shore, the right shore. Uh, both sides are going to be darker to close the, um, the composition. And also here we have uh, some kind of, of, of ground, a uh, dry area with no water. Well, I'm going to put uh, also some background here with uh, some, in this case, I'm going to use uh, gray greens. Greens mix it with, uh, with some browns to, to have this, this kind of color. Well, uh, to give volume to, to this uh, cylinder or of the bridge, I'm going to put here a darker area and also in both sides. That's the way to make um, a cylinder on wet paper. Uh, 
Well, uh, while uh, I need uh, everything uh, dry uh, before uh, I play the next wash, so I'm going to finish the. Um, this is a kind of uh, of niche. Uh, is 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 ornamental only. So I'm going to. This is um, the the um, the style of of this bridge is. Uh, um, baroque. That's the reason it's it's so, so busy with so many things. I'm not going to count every every line, every every form. So I'm going to put a darker. A darker part inside the small arch, and here in some some parts. Um, at the time I am doing this, uh, everything is drying, so it's it's perfect to to keep painting without stopping. I don't use uh, a hard dryer, for example. I prefer to work in in another parts of the of the work instead using the the, the hard dryer. Well, some splattering to create uh, some texture. Here I'm going to put the. The statue. Well, uh, again, I need th that everything is is right to to paint the the dark o of the arches. So uh, while it's drying, I'm going to put some highlights with my card. And now this part uh, is also dried, so I'm going to finish the the reflection. I have lost one brush. I'm going to use now the this brush. This is um, a Kolinsky hair brush. It's uh, softer and uh, it um, uh, catches uh, more quantity of, of water to paint uh, all the reflection. Uh, this reflection is going to be done on dry paper uh, because we have uh, hard edges um, when, when, see, when we see the, the reflection of the arch. So I'm going to make um, a new mix. In this case, I'm going to use uh, yellow ochre, a little bit of, of tallow green, and uh, Bar, uh, transparent red oxide. This mix is uh, very liquid, it's not uh, opaque. Anyway, the, um, the color is not going to be uh, flat. Uh, I'm going to change this color uh, as, as soon as I am going down. Uh, now the paper, is, the paper is dry, so I can paint hard edges here. Uh, the concentration of uh, water and pigment is uh, more or less 50-50. So it's a, a dark uh, mix, but uh, transparent. It's very important to see everything um, under the, the water. I'm going to use uh, brush. Oh. this one. But for bigger uh, areas, I'm going to use my flat brush. Now it's going to be transparent, so we can see the the sunken rocks, sunken uh, stones I put previously. It's 
small areas with the with the perla to have fine uh, brass strokes, fine fine lines. All the each is going to be done with this brass. I'm painting uh, from the top to the to the bottom to uh, to use the the gravity. So here, uh, the reflection is completely broken because um, the water is, uh, is is has movement. So I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to paint uh, different kind of shapes. The shapes that uh, the, the the stream, the the water uh, make makes. Making um, the reflection of of the arch. is the, the the calligraphy of the of the water big areas with uh, the big brass i'm going to leave uh, some highlights here i'm not going to cover everything to, to leave some signs on the surface of the water. See that now we can see the, the sunken rocks. Everything is soft, everything is uh, under the, the water. We have uh, two different levels on the water. And also with the, um, with the perla, this is my synthetic brass. Uh, also I can, I can um, lift some pigment to uh, create another kind of uh, waves by uh, lifting pigment, making uh, more pressure on the paper. Every time I, I do this kind of, of lifting, I clean my brushes, my brush. So, with this technique, we can have different kind of reflections, different textures, uh, different water textures. We have uh, the sunken rocks, we have the, um, uh, the big reflection on the water, and we have uh, hard uh, signs, um, and we have soft uh, signs. So that's, uh, that's the, um, the, the thing that makes the, the water more real. Well, uh, I'm going to lead, uh, leave uh, it uh, dry completely, and I, I'm going to finish the, um, the top now. I'm going to, now this has dried, so it's a good moment to paint the darks. Sepia with uh, ultramarine blue to make the contrast of the dark dark side of the of the arch the arch is darker next to the top and lighter next to the to the wall so I'm going to add more water to make it lighter, lighter. Here. This part is uh, connected to the, to the other side of the, of the bridge. With, uh, also with these darks, I'm going to put here, the, we can see some um, like steps 
And also I'm going to put some darks here. I, I don't know the name. The name. Uh, even in Spanish, I think I don't know how to, <laughs> how to, what's the name of, of this part of the bridge. Well, um, this is not um, a new bridge, so uh, I need uh, textures. I need uh, dirty, dirty areas. So I'm going to put on dry. Some uh, some stones because the paper is dry. I can uh, make fast brush strokes and have uh, different kind of texture. Um, I can see the grain of the paper now by uh, painting uh, fast. Well, I'm going to paint the the second arch again a very dark color. Uh, Ultramarine blue with sepia. Very dark. I'm going to reforce these darks here. Uh, while the paper is still damp, uh, I can uh, also put more details, more things. Well, uh, lighter next to the to the wall, next to next to us. Also some kind of, of texture up over the, the arch. I'm going to put some uh, vanishing lines here on the on the shore. Here and here. But I'm going to finish also the um, the virgin, the the eyes, the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it won't look the, like, <laughs> I don't mind. It's just a shape, it's just a shape of a, of a human figure. It's, it's well, I'm going to also scratch a little bit. Well, uh, here in the, um, in the on the ground, I'm going to put uh, brighter colors. I'm going to put now uh, more uh, ochre to to have more um, uh, more more color in this area. I'm going to mix this yellow ochre with a little bit of um, cobaltil blue. Is, uh, this part is very important because we need this contrast in this corner to uh, make the difference uh, between the, the ground and the river. So this dark is, is important. Also here, I'm going to put also some, some grasses, some whatever, there. And also, I'm going to put uh, some bright uh, greens next to the next to the water, and also some darks to create this uh, this kind of of brush booth, um, grasses, all the the things that that we have. Uh, in the rivers. Uh, 
Well, the, the paper is still wet. Um, here in Spain, when we have this problem, we we'll <laughs> we leave it to the sun and let it dry in in, in one minute. But <laughs> I think it's, it's not possible. Well, uh, some kind of texture, some kind of. of work. Well, I'm going to put also some darks here. I used to work from light to dark, so uh, darks uh, used to be the, the, the last touches. Here, to, to reinforce the, the vanishing, I'm going to put some lines. The, my vanishing point it is here. So I'm going to put inside the, the bridge well. and um, the last element are the, um, the trees, the branches, because they are uh, closer to us. I'm going to change the brass again. I'm going to use now a, a rigger brass. It's a um, versatile, also from, from Skoda. Uh, it's, it's, it's a brass uh, to only uh, to, to paint uh, branches, uh, lines. lighter at the background and then then uh, when I paint now the the closer ones they will be uh, dark I I did the the, uh, the reflections uh, at the beginning So if I need more reflection, or now on dry, I also can put some soft uh, brass strokes to complete the, the feeling of water and, and reflection. With this, um, with this rigger brass. In Spain, this this brass has a, an ugly name <laughs> because uh, here uh, is rigger is uh, there are the the ropes of the of the ships, but in Spain uh, we call it um, ramero and ramera. <laughs> so maybe you don't understand, but the the name is the same of of beach. <laughs> So it's, it's a, uh, an, an ugly name in Spain. Well, uh, I am re uh, reinforcing uh, darks. I'm going to paint now the, the big uh, trees, the big, the big uh, branches, uh, mostly uh, with sepia. I, I mix the sepia with some kind of blue to, to break the color and to, to avoid using it uh, completely uh, pure from the tube. So these uh, branches at the foreground are also very important to uh, create uh, another plane, to, to make everything uh, far away. There are some branches uh, appearing from the top. And here we have a lot of uh, crossing lines, a lot of uh, um, dry trees. The picture is, uh, is, is taken on winter, so everything is dry, there are no leaves. I'm going to put a uh, darker trunk here 
some of the lines are crossing the, the arch. With this um, process, uh, I, I make the, the, the bridge um, farther. Time to, to put uh, more darks. Now that the, um, the paper is uh, now is, is more dry, I can uh, put more uh, more grasses, more uh, small vegetation here next to, to this uh, small shore. To, to make um, everything more complex. Also, now the paper is in the, in the perfect moment to scratch. Perfect moment is, uh, is always um, when the paper uh, has no sign. If you scratch too early, uh, you will have a dark line instead of um, uh, a light. I'm scratching uh, to have uh, more texture, more things here. Well, I'm going to put uh, just small details, small details, uh, for example, here. Now everything on the top is is dry, so uh, I can I can make uh, fine details. <coughs> Some darks also uh, here on the sculpture. That you. I'm going to put this part darker to uh, to have more depth. Yes. Five minutes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> after uh, after <laughs> eight, eight, eight hours, <laughs> um, <laughs> traveling is <laughs> <it's> no problem. <laughs> I have done more difficult things today <laughs> than, than <laughs> I can. Well, I am going to put some some highlights. Um, also, this is not a, a, a purist thing, but um, I love to 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 do this kind of of work. I am using now an opaque color. This uh, John Brillant um, number one. Uh, basically, is made of um, titanium white and and yellow. So this color is uh, perfect because it's opaque. It covers everything on the um, on the paper. It uh, covers everything, uh, even uh, dark areas. So if I want to uh, to put some highlights here to create more movement in the water. Just a few uh, floating things, uh, signs to complete the the water. Well, and uh, to finish, also uh, the f the fine lines of the branches. Usually, with the brass, uh, it's not so easy to to draw. So uh, I used to complete with the mechanical pencil. 
even if I have to, to correct um, some lines to adjust uh, some areas, the, the mechanical pencil is for me also very, very useful. Last part is just uh, a small adjust. In this, um, at this moment, uh, uh, you, you can change uh, uh, a big, big part of the, of the watercolor. Main things uh, should be already done. Well, how many minutes? <laughs> Thank you. Some noise here. Okay. Well, um, enough. One minute to take off the tape. So I have time to keep it slowly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, the, the, this blue tape is awful uh, <laughs> to the work. So uh, this is enough to, to, to have the, um, the, the place I, I wanted to, to represent. It. Uh, the bridge, the, the water, the reflection, the, um, the cloudy day, the cloudy mood. Uh, everything, is, uh, everything is done. So it's, it's enough. <laughs> Thank you very much.